very good morning dear student today we will discuss the 6.1 poem the donkey and i had the pony actually the poem the donkey is just for reading fun it will not be asked for question and answer and not in the only examination it just for the classic literature to create a interest in children for that purpose the poem is given here only for the reading sake the donkey and the next poem we have i had a little pony so this both the chapter both the poems are focusing on the animals basically this six unit itself is focusing on animals because in the first we discussing about the donkey and i had a pony and a 6.2 the poem is the chapter is milkman's cow so what cow donkey and pony it's all talking about the animals only so this chapter basically focuses on animals is that clear okay fine so let's begin with the poem the donkey and i had a pony so let's discuss first the donkey let's see the poem if i had a donkey and he wouldn't go would i well of him no 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 i would find a little hay and give him some corn then he would be the best donkey that ever was born i just read the poem first this poem is written by margaret s russell a famous poet from british and she was born in 1860 and died in 1963 she is also a journalist she was journalist very famous journalist in british that we can say and she is also famous for the poem the donkey so let's see the poem exactly what she wants to say here if i had a donkey suppose if i have one donkey and and he wouldn't go so i have a donkey and he is all the time with me and if he is not going anywhere are you getting it so he is not going anywhere he wouldn't go anywhere in this thing there would i value him so suppose if he is not going from the place should i value him value means to beat okay so to beat with a stick it's very hard it's called as value okay value means to beat so would i value him if he will not go so the poet is saying no 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 i will not beat you know same the time if in our house in our colony we can say if there is uh, any donkey any uh, cow we can say or a dog if the dog or the cow is not going we beat them we throw a stone on them so the poet want to say here that we should not hit them we should not value them no don't beat them why we should beat with them they are the kind animals actually that's the meaning of the first stanza don't be that so if the donkey will not go anywhere i will not value him would i have value him is asking question to himself and answering that no no and no let's go for a second stanza i would find a little hay so what i will do i will not beat the donkey i will find a little hay hay means dry grass here that we give for uh, uh, horses donkeys to eat that so i will give him a grass and give him some corn as well okay corn is maize actually look at the boy is carrying in his hand it's called as corn maize also we call it so he will give corn to the donkey and he would be the best donkey okay why he will be best donkey because the poet is the boy is giving him hay as well the corn as well so he will be the best donkey that ever was born okay so he'll be the best donkey that ever was born he'll be so powerful so that's the meaning of the second stanza so we should not beat the donkey rather than that we should give them the corn then the maize you know hay as well so that the donkey will be the best one donkey has the best quality that to be discipline always is you know moving with a load and doing so much of work without paying you know getting anything so that's what the great quality which we should take from the donkey that's the meaning of this poem i hope it is clear let's go for a next poem now i had a little pony pony means what here pony means a young one of a horse yes correct young one of a horse we call it as pony so let's see i had a little pony his name was dapple gray i lent him to a lady to ride a mile away 
So what the writer is saying here, poet is saying here, I had a pony the same way as the donkey was there. Here it has a pony. Now when I have a pony, young one of donkey, young one of horse, his name was Dapple Grey. The name of that pony is Dapple Grey. It's a name. And what happened then one day? I lent him to a lady. So what he has done? The girl. The girl has given that pony to a lady. She has given. As you know, if we need a car, if we need any vehicle or something, we ask from our friends. So same thing also has happened here that the girl, little girl who is sitting on the pony here, see that one. She has lent that pony to a lady. She has given to ride a mile away. Just for ride, she has taken that. Okay, that's the meaning of the first stanza. Now look at the second stanza. She whip him, she lash him. Now whip means to beat with leathers strike okay so she was beating with whip and she lashed also lash means to beat with a stick so she was actually lash and whip both have the same meaning and the lady she means what the lady who has taken the pony so she whip and lash him she beat him so badly very hard she drove him to the mire and that lady has drove means she has taken that pony from mire mire means mud the dirt from the dirty place the lady has taken the pony and it has become dirty now the mud is on the horse legs now it has become dirty I don't like that I wouldn't lend my pony now and from that purpose what happened the girl had decided that she will not lend she will not give that pony to anybody now and for all the ladies hire hire means those lady come to take that you know sometimes we hire a car if you want to go some places so that's called as hire it means to take a, a thing temporarily by giving some am amount of money so what has happened then a lady has taken that pony okay she has hired that and she you know she drove with maya means mud and dirty things she was drove from dirt dirt and everywhere the dirt on the horse and she whipped and she lashed him also because of that reason the girl was hurt you know she didn't like that and from that day she decided that I would not lend my pony now so from that day she had decided that she will not give pony to anybody else and those ladies are coming to ask my pony now I will not give them okay so dear student what do you learn from this stanza actually whenever you take somebody's things if you take the if you borrow some books if you take some uh, notebooks, pen, pencil, anything, whatever you think, you're carrying it from somebody, you're borrowing it from somebody. So use it properly and give back properly as it is. Don't make it dirty. Or this is what happens next time the person from whom you have taken, he will not give you, even though he's your friend or not. Have you got that? So that's what the meaning we get from this poem. That's a wonderful poem. And I hope the meaning and the words meaning is clear to you all. Okay, thank you so much dear student.